A long list of big name Democrats took the stage tonight in support of Hillary Clinton. Two of them from Michigan, Flint Mayor Karen Weaver and Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan. But the biggest name of all, POTUS, the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Devin Skillian's live in Philadelphia tonight, and Devin, the energy was just huge through the oh, roof tonight. Yeah. It was pretty extraordinary, Jason and Carmen, as we approach the midnight hour. This has been the longest evening so far of this convention, but nobody here seems to mind. I think most of the people who are filing out here would describe tonight as rather emotional for them. It kind of began a goodbye to President Obama. But before we got to that big speech, yes, it was an evening that finally got some Michigan flavor for the first time in this convention. Flint Mayor Karen Weaver still can't believe she's here, but she wants Flint to stay in the national focus, and the welcome she received made her feel like she belonged. Here's our chance to keep Flint out there and keep this story going, and, and to help get the person, Hillary Clinton, in the White House that's really had our backs all this time. Then it was Mayor Mike Duggan's turn, chosen to talk about the revitalization of Detroit. He told me he left his prepared remarks in the green room, maybe it was his conversation with Sigourney Weaver, but he was just fine on teleprompter, telling the crowd the Detroit comeback needs Hillary Clinton in the White House. I think it's a great thing for Detroit, and the fact that the Clinton campaign wanted uh, me to tell the Detroit story is a very encouraging sign, because a few years back, I don't think they ever would have put Detroit on the stage. The newly minted vice presidential candidate, Tim Kaine, got his first chance to address the convention, but make no mistake. The spotlight was reserved for the commander in chief. Thank you so much, everybody. It was, of course, one of the last major speeches of his presidency, focused largely on the presidency that will follow. Nothing truly prepares you for the demands of the Oval Office. You can read about it, you can study it, but until you've sat at that desk, you don't know what it's like to manage a global crisis or send young people to war. But Hillary's been in the room. She's been part of those decisions. She's, she knows what's at stake in the decisions our government makes. And then there's Donald Trump. <laughs> don't boo, vote. And for a moment, the unified party that has been at times elusive this week rose up as one. So if you agree that there's too much inequality in our economy and too much money in our politics, we all need to be as vocal and as organized and as persistent as Bernie Sanders supporters have been during this election. There has never been a man or a woman, not me, not Bill, nobody, more qualified than Hillary Clinton to serve as President of the United States of America. And then you got the moment that I think many people would have thought was a must do, seeing these two former rivals of eight years ago now together as Barack Obama hopes that he's passing the torch to Hillary Clinton. But think for a minute about the way tonight you heard Donald Trump described. Uh, given those uh, outlandish descriptions of him, how could this possibly be a race? It must be a blowout, right? Well, no, it's not. It's very close indeed, which means that eventually the work is going to have to turn from uh, tearing down Donald Trump to building up Hillary Clinton, and we'll see that start in earnest on her behalf tomorrow night as she gets the final speech of this convention on the final night of the DNC. In Philadelphia, Devin Skillian, Local 4. Carmen I loved Jason, his line. Devin, I loved his line when the audience said boo after he said down. Then there's Donald Trump, and he said, don't boo, <laughs> vote. And that was a boo, classic vote, line yeah. from Barack Obama tonight. One of the lines. It's going to be right. a big part of this is uh, getting the vote out. It yep. certainly is. All right, get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Devin, live from you the Democratic Convention in Philadelphia.